Welcome to Excel in a minute. The let is a function that allows users to define pairs of names and values and the calculation for that pair. In this video, we are going to show a basic example on how to use the let function. But before anything else, the let has the following syntax. The first argument is the name to be assigned to the variable. This must begin with a letter. Next is the value associated with the variable. Then followed by the calculation, which is the operation to perform with the assigned names and values. Here we have a list of items with their respective prices. And we wish to calculate their sales prices after applying a 25% discount rate. To start, recall that the sales price equation is given by. And to show how the let function works, let us first identify the necessary variables from the sales price equation. As seen from above, the original price is the main variable of the equation. Thus, for the let equation, we can assign OP as the name for the original price and cell C5 for the second argument since it contains the value of the original price. Lastly, the calculation is OP minus the product of OP and 25%. Therefore, the final let equation is. Then, press enter. And we get $20.24 as the sales price of the frying pan. Now, drag the fill handle to complete the table. And that's it for the let function. We have shown you how to identify, define, and integrate variables using the let function. Now it's your turn to try this on your own. Should you have questions about the let function, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.